I was right about my maid. She's leaving to get married. Well, how could you be so selfish? Don't call her your grace. I thought it was correct. For a servant or an official at a ceremony, but in a social situation, call her Duchess. But why? I don't call you Countess. Certainly not. There's no logic in it. Oh, no, but if I were to search for logic, I should not look for it among the English upper class. Sometimes I feel as if I were living in a, an H.G. Wells novel. Such a glare. I feel as if I were on stage at the Gaiety. What on earth is it? A gramophone. Some cousins of mine have given it to us. I should stand well clear when you light blue touch paper. I say, is this an instrument of communication or torture? What am I sitting on? A uh, swivel chair. Oh, another modern brainwave? Well, not very modern. They were invented by Thomas Jefferson. Why does every day involve a fight with an American? I'll fetch a different one. No, 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 no. I'm a good sailor. Poor thing. Is there anything worse than losing one's maid? I mean, why would you want to leave me? I've been as gentle as a lamb. Most of the time. You are quite wonderful the way you see room for improvement wherever you look. I never knew such reforming zeal. I take that as a compliment. I must have said it wrong. I wonder your halo doesn't grow heavy. It must be like wearing a tiara around the clock. You, you were your place to Mrs Crawley. She would not let me go until I'd promised. She would not relax her grip. You make me sound very fervent. Wars have been waged with less fervour. No Englishman would dream of dying in someone else's house. Yeah, are, you, are you really that tall? Yes, my lady. Thought you might have been walking on stilts. Is it, dear? You're a woman with a brain and reasonable ability. Stop whining and find something to do. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. What do you think I might have a drink? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a waiter. 